Welcome to Nike Cross Nationals Day 2. It's 8.15 a.m. As Brayden tells us, we only have till 8.30 to eat breakfast, so we're kind of in a rush to get down. We we're trying to sleep as much as we can to, you know, really get ourselves well set up for the day. Today we essentially go to the course, we get to do our pre-race on it. Remember, we, it's all about trying to learn the course and make sure that we're all prepared and all that. And then after that, I think we're, I think we're supposed to get our uniforms, which is going to be sick. I'm really looking forward to that. I want to see what color uniforms and all that, what the whole vibe is. Um, then, yeah, I'm not sure what exactly what goes on throughout the rest of the day, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying. I hope you enjoyed episode one. If this is part of if we make a whole big extended cut, I hope you've been enjoying the whole video so far. Anyhow, yeah. Back up to the room we go yeah. to get ready for the course. We're in the recovery room right now. It's uh, this place is like actually crazy. Like they've got just stuff everywhere. Like look at this. You have like infinite norm attacks. Like it's actually so, I'm gonna trip over these chargers. There's so many norm attacks in just like the 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 hypervolt massage guns. Uh, they got all these rollers, the vibrating ones too, the vibrating balls. Uh, they've got some crazy stuff. But yeah, this is all at the disposal of the athletes, so the athletes get to use all of this, which is which is pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the cool things about NXN. But yeah, now we're going to the pre-race. So. Cows that escaped out from the factory, you pass another arrow, and I'll stab it in your left cheek. I wish I could be patient, and I wish that I could stop. But in the land of milk and honey, there's no way to call the cops. Alright. We will of course go over all the gear and all that in much more depth later. But right now there's more of a time crunch, so we're gonna make sure to get stretched and ready for our run because we're gonna do a course preview type thing. So we gotta get stretched right now. I'm currently in our little athlete tent area. It's pretty cool, all the gear is all hanging out behind us. Yep. All right, so we just got the gear. Uh, I'm not wearing any of it right now. I'm just wearing the normal Newberry Park stuff. Uh, quarter zip, full tights, tall socks, fly fours, gloves, and uh, yeah, so. It's like 35 degrees, I think I'll be fine with this. Really, as long as my legs are cold, it doesn't matter. I mean, as long as they're warm, you know? So like full tights, I'll wear, and then like, I'll just wear like a quarter zip, because like the upper body, like it's important to be warm, but like at the end of the day, I'm running, so let's make sure like the legs are warm. But yeah. So we try to hide it Swinging from the treetops Rolling in the snowfall Blisters on our fingers Nervous for the splinters Fumble for the car keys Promise that you love me In every passing moment Stretching to forever Hungry like an iris Planted in the desert Accountable to no one Hit me like a shotgun How can I be loving you When I'm living off the of nothing? Welcome to the gear haul part of the video. I know this is what you guys clicked on for. It's what you're waiting for. So I'm gonna take you through every single piece of gear that we got as an NXN uh, 2022 athlete. So I'm actually wearing it all. So starting from the top, uh, we got this NXN Nike quarter zip. It's pretty standard. It's just like the any any team quarter zip that you've seen. It's that's pretty much what it is. Obviously unzips and stuff. Uh, little so UCTF. Yeah, UCTF on the side. That's because I think they're sponsoring it. But um. Yeah, moving down, we got these sweats. These are a size small, probably should have went up a size, but they're very tight around the calf. Uh, they come up all the way. 
but I'll probably end up cutting that because you can't, like I can barely get that around my heel and for sweats, like you want to be able to like put your spikes on, warm up and then take it off. So I'll probably end up cutting that. Um, the shoes we got this year are awesome, Peg Turbos. I actually haven't run in these ones, but I'm really excited to. I've heard great things about them. And quite frankly, I think it's one of the nicest looking shoes Nike has made. So I'm stoked on these. Uh, all right, now for the racing kit. Uh, starting with the shoes, they gave us Nike XC5s. I would put them on, but these are infamously hard to put on. I have a pair in my house. But uh, yeah, I'm actually not gonna be racing in these ones. I brought Dragonflies, which I'll take, I don't need to take them out. You guys all know what Dragonflies are. Uh, those are probably better spikes, so that's what I'm used to. That's what I'm gonna race in. Uh, the kit, we got this sort of maroon colored Newberry Park. Kind of annoyed they put Newberry Park on two lines. It really should be one word, but it's fine. Uh, we got arm sleeves. It was very difficult, but I was able to find a smaller size just because I don't know why they always give runners like size larges and mediums. It's like, we're not like, we're not hitting the gym every day. Like, you know, don't expect to give us the massive ones. But the shorts are, they're kind of, I mean, they're kind of just like mid, like I was expecting <laughs> that. The ones that uh, our team normally races in are a little bit nicer, but they're still cool, but they're just like, they're not like the nicest shorts, but they're, they'll, they'll, they'll make do. Uh, the socks, I'm actually really stoked on. These are the socks I normally race in, and then we just got another pair of them, so that's awesome. These are like the Nike Spark, like it's like the best racing sock I found. They're so tight, so you kind of get like that compression aspect. I don't know if that helps or not, but personally I like it, so. Yeah, and then the final, probably coolest part of the entire thing is the bag. This is a really sick bag. We got it to put Newberry Park on it, so that's neat. Uh, you've got so many pockets on this thing, and it just like opens up and you, I mean, you've got space. It's like really tactical. You have all these little poles on it. You got uh, space for two water bottles. I mean, there's just like, like I don't think I've even opened all the pockets. There's so many, but this will definitely, I'll probably use this as like my daily for, for a little bit after this, because uh, it's just it's just a nice quality bag. It feels good. I think this is what most of the colleges get for their student athletes. But no, it's not the same. Or maybe it's, it's, it's different, not. Because it's, like, it's it's a like little pocket, different. pocket, pocket, pocket. Oh, okay. but it is similar. Yeah, but it's a nice bag. Like this it's like is the same line. I'd say like ranking all the gear we got, like the nicest thing, the thing I'm most stoked on are the shoes. These are awesome. Then probably the bag, and then probably the sweats, the the warm ups. But like. Yeah, it's great. Uh, so, if you guys have been paying attention to the rest of the video, we are at the hotel just chilling. So, in about like an hour and a half, two hours, we're gonna head to dinner and hopefully meet some professional runners. So that'll be cool. We'll film all that and get uh, straight to it. All right. Apparently, Abdi Hamid Nur, Nico's good friend, is downstairs, so we want to go say hi to him, and, you know, yeah. You're in the video. Hey, I'm in the video. You guys are going for your party. How are you doing? Nice to see you. How are you doing? And they all thought I was wrong, but I we didn't think you were wrong. We didn't just like walk in. Like, no, I didn't really? see that. I just heard him start to say the. the just got done taking all the photos with like uh, like these ones they're so sick uh, now we're gonna get food I hope it's like pasta I'm really hoping we get it some is like pasta. oh it is no. I can smell it smells it's like it's it. gotta be pasta it yeah be it can't be tacos or stir fry yeah so hopefully I really <laughs> 